Hello and welcome to another video of this Power BI Do It Yourself Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about how to get data from databases. In this, this video is directly linked to the previous video where we talked about implementing a project on a BDCS retail store. So as I said, we are going to talk about how to get data from the applications, various applications in projects or databases. and in the last video, we set the context of how to implement a project for a retail store. If you have not done that, it's, it's a good time now to download the data, which is the sales db underscore new dot mdb file. And remember, this is for an e-commerce platform. This is the Google Drive link mentioned in the video description section below. So in the last video I showed how you to how to get the data from access files. I'm going to do the same thing again and let's look at the tables of this file. Clicking on get data and more, you can see a lot of connections which Power BI supports. Text CSV, XML, JSON, Access Database, SQL Server. Oracle, DB2, Informix, you know, you talk about it. So it's a huge collection of data. And what I would strongly recommend for you to do is use ODBC connection. If possible, this is a very useful ODBC connection, which is used across multiple projects. Uh, I can do that as well. Or if you have an access database, you can always use this access database here. Click on connect it's going to ask you for the file which you must have downloaded from the Google Drive link and click on open and now let's see which tables we need to bring in for this exercise let's bring in dcust and f sales so dimension customer and f sales which is fact sales so I'm going to select dcust and f sales both of these tables are selected and all I would do is click on load and it's loading once loaded you would be able to see the tables on the right side but on the left side there is an icon known as relationships and to show you a relationship created please note that this Power BI is a very intelligent tool and it understands the connection between these two data set and the connection is between customer ID to customer ID. Just hover over your mouse on this link or double click the link. It's going to tell you the linkage. It's a many to one. So many to one, which also means one to many here. And this relationship is active. So based on the, the name of the columns, it was able to identify the linkage. Now let's bring in some more tables. Click on the relationships icon on the left hand side and see the Power BI automatically detects relationship which we have already seen. We need a couple of more tables from the same database which is dprod and dstat. Let's bring it in and use the same method as used in step three which is get data we're going to use exactly the same method and we will get the data in the power bi so go back here click on get data more access database connect again select the same database this time select prod and stat and click on load you could see that it's detecting the relationship but it only detected the relationship for product it wasn't able to detect relationship for stat the reason is in this fact table there is no stat ID per se it's order stat ID so we have to create a relationship there are multiple ways to create relationships but all I'm gonna do is let's assume sales stat ID and drag and drop 
to the stat ID here and the relationship is created. Please note that it was able to identify that there is one to many relationship here between these tables. So this is a star schema which have which has been created now for reporting and also if you click on manage relationships you would see all the relationships at this point in time in your in your model or in your PBIX file. Please note that the extension of this um, Microsoft Power BI file is PBIX. Notice that the relationship is not auto automatically detected for DSTAT which we have seen as the column name is in the same in FSales. So it based on the column name. Create a relationship and do the following hands-on exercise. So this is very simple. What we did was we were able to connect to the sales DB new database and we were able to bring in four different tables, DCUST, FSales, DPROD and DSTAT. You don't have to necessarily break the tables in two and like two sets and then bring it in. You could also bring all the four tables together. Having said that, the only reason I did in two steps is to just to show you how you can add additional tables from the database. It's a good time now for you to pause this video, understand what we have done in these steps and get ready for hands-on exercises. In the hands-on exercises, we are going to do 16, which is to get the same file which you have used, but different tables. Please note that instead of using F sales here, use F shipment, which is another table in the same file. And here you have to use this F shipment table instead of using F sales as I showed you. So in your hands-on exercise, please use F shipment. Please note that I have used F sales in my demonstration. One small point before I close this video is the recent sources. Click on this and you would see what all recent sources I have used for this demonstration or, or in the past. So thank you for watching.